evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate the Amazon Sports Star Awards. I'm Matthew Monk, and I'll be hosting tonight's event on behalf of Southwest Sport as we look to celebrate the talent, commitment, and achievement of the Southwest Victorian sporting community. This event will remain on the Southwest Sports Facebook and web page following the premiere event tonight. I would like to welcome all the nominees and viewers and would like to particularly acknowledge mayors and councillors from the five municipalities represented. Mr. Brendan Jones, President of Southwest Sports. Mr. Michael Neo, Chief Executive Officer of Southwest Sport. Southwest Sport and Life members. Amazon Printing, the event's major sponsor and representatives of our supporting sponsors. Without your support, this event would not be made possible, so we thank you. I would now like to kick off tonight's event by inviting Uncle Rob Lowe for the Welcome to Country, followed by a formal welcome by Southwest Sport Chief Executive Officer, Michael Neo. Mm -hmm. yeah, the one, yeah, the My name is Uncle Robbie Lowe, and today we have also Uncle Lockie Eccles. So let us acknowledge and pay all our respects to our neighbouring tribes in this area. And they are Kurup Jamara, Chaparral, Kunkapanut, Rayarong, and Yowich. But today, we welcome you all to the traditional land of our people, Pikarong people, past and present. We'll look. Thank you. Hi. I'm Mike Neo, CEO of Southwest Sport. It is great to be reaching out to the region to present the 2019 Amazon Sports Star Awards. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to elders past, present and future. Tonight's virtual awards are the result of COVID-19 circumstances. Our conversations with the clubs have made us acutely aware of the uncertainty and issues being faced by our fantastic sector volunteers, participants and administrators. Southwest Sport has endeavoured to keep the sector informed of the changing environment, restrictions and guidelines in relation to COVID-19. As we transition through the return to play stages, we will continue to support and keep the sector informed. We firmly believe with the awards being online, we will reach a greater audience to overcome the tyranny of distance for many. I'd like to thank our Law Naming Rights sponsor, Amazon Printing, the five Southwest municipalities and the category sponsors for their ongoing show of support. Finally, before we commence the awards, I'd like to thank our fantastic staff, in particular, Marley Blackley Noda, our event coordinator. Thank you. Our first set of awards tonight celebrate those people working behind the scenes who in many ways make sport possible. I'd like to welcome the five mayors to present the Volunteer of the Year Award for their respective area. I'm uh, Neil Trotter, Mayor of the Grangamite Shire. Grangamite Shire is pleased to be a partner in the 2020 Amazon Sports Star Awards uh, together with Southwest Sport. Um, this partnership has been a long-standing relationship and we thank Amazon and Southwest Sport for their invaluable commitment over the many years. We also thank all the participants and sporting clubs who contribute to advancing sporting activities within our communities. Sporting activities are vitally important uh, to the physical, mental and social well-being of our communities. Our sporting clubs and sports people are part of the fabric of our communities. They are especially important when we're facing the challenges that are currently before us. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the volunteers from the Krangamite Shire for their input into a diverse and inclusive range of sporting activity. I applaud all those who have participated and congratulate those who, are should, who have received nomination for the awards. Thank you. Congratulations to Kim Matthew from Southwest Cricket Association 
winner of the Karangamite Shire Volunteer of the Year Award. Kim was instrumental in getting the first Southwest Cricket Association girls cricket team together, although he has no girls of his own playing. Kim organised the coach, the manager and volunteers, many of the players as well as sponsorship to form this historic team. This is a huge feat and required a lot of work to establish. The team went on to be very successful in the Warrnambool and District Cricket Association. Kim is president of Southwest Cricket Association, as well as an active board member of the Hamden Football Netball League. Thank you to the Southwest Cricket Association for the nomination for the Karangamite Volunteer of the Year. It's a great pleasure to be part of a community involved sporting group to give back something of a sport that I love. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Councillor Anita Rank and I'm the Mayor of the Glenelg Shire. And we are absolutely delighted to be partnering with Southwest Sports to host the Amazon Sports Star Awards. We are also really honoured that we are sponsoring the volunteer category of the awards. As we all know, volunteers do an amazing job in our community, hosting events, getting behind the scenes, doing all the admin work, enabling people to be able to get on, on the sports field. So thank you very much to everyone who contributes and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Congratulations to Russell Greenham from Portland Croquet Club, winner of the Glenelg Shire Volunteer of the Year Award. Russell has been Portland Croquet Club's dedicated greenkeeper for approximately eight years. Russell works tirelessly to repair and maintain the greens, tending to it almost daily, often early in the morning, resulting in one of the best playing surfaces in Glenelg. In addition to the greenkeeper role, he is always first on hand to fix and maintain equipment and complete other jobs to support the running of the Portland Croquet Club. Hey viewers, Daniel Mead here, Mayor of the Moines Shire. Moines Shire is very pleased to be able to partner with the 2019 Amazon Sports Star Awards with South West Sport. At the Moines Shire, we acknowledge how important community sport is to our residents in Moines. For their social, physical, mental wellbeing, it brings communities together in the name of participation and activity. We also like to thank uh, all the sponsors being involved and we certainly do acknowledge the work that volunteers put in right across the Great Shire of Moyne and the region to make these uh, sports happen and to make them tick over. Parents taking kids to sports, etc., wouldn't happen without them. So uh, thanks again from Moyne and congratulations to all the winners here today. Thank congratulations you. to Philippa Hodgins from the Port Ferry Cricket Club, winner of the Moyne Shire Volunteer of the Year Award. Philippa has proudly helped out Port Ferry Cricket Club for close to 30 years. She has scored over 300 games of cricket, dedicated 15 years of her life as club secretary, one as president, and 29 as a committee member. Philippa scores up to two games a weekend during the summer months. She also travels across the region to watch her favorite club play week in, week out. Beyond the official roles, she has also cooked teas, sold raffle tickets, and raised countless funds for the coastal club she serves passionately. Hi there, Marley from Southwest Sport here. Unfortunately, Philippa couldn't uh, record a video tonight, but she has sent me a small speech that she would like me to read on her behalf. Uh, Philippa says, thank you so much to Southwest Sport for the recognition. She's so very honored. She'd also like to thank the Moyne Shire, the sponsor of this award. And she also goes on to say, um, how helpful Southwest Sport have been to the Port Ferry Cricket Club and her and herself, and she hopes that the relationship continues. Once again, congratulations, Philippa, on all your achievements, um, and it is so great that you have been recognised for all your work with the Port Ferry Cricket Club. Hello, everyone. I'm Tony Herbert, Mayor of Warrnambool, and as you're probably all aware and have all experienced. Warrnambool is a city mad about sport. We love to watch it, we love to participate in it, and we love to celebrate the people who make sport. Warrnambool City Council is a very proud partner of the 2019 Sports Star Awards with Southwest Sport. If you play a sport, particularly a team sport, you will have probably been supported along the way by a volunteer or a group of volunteers. 
Many of these volunteers make our sport in our city happen. Think of the coaches, the trainers, the referees, the scorekeepers, the dishwashers, the treasurers and the secretaries. All these people give their most valuable commodity, which is their time. So whether you um, play on a field, a pool, a pitch or a court, without these people, your sport probably wouldn't happen. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the volunteers in the sports scene here in Warrnambool. They do an amazing job. And a special congratulations to the volunteers who were nominated this year. Thank you so much for all you do and for how much you add to our community. Congratulations to Michael Bottrell from the Dennington Pony Club, winner of the Warrnambool City Volunteer of the Year Award. Michael has been an active volunteer and member of the Dennington Pony Club for over 15 years. He has been the president of the club for the past five years. He also supports the club at all fundraising activities, packing up transporting and assisting with setup. Michael is always at the grounds conducting maintenance on the arenas, ensuring the main showgrounds oval is watered regularly, moving sprinklers, especially in summer, and leading up to events. Michael is also a very hardworking and proactive committee member and volunteer for the Warrnambool Agricultural Society and has been doing this for seven years. During the year, he is continually maintaining the grounds, attending monthly working bees, then every weekend for a month before the show, especially leading into the show. And after, he spends almost three weeks full time and volunteering his time to assist with setting up and preparing for the show. Hi, I'm Chris Sharples. I'm Mayor of the Southern Grampian Shire. And here at the Southern Grampians, we're really pleased to be involved with the Amazon Sports Star Awards. We live in challenging times with COVID-19 and a lot of sports have been cancelled for the season. But it's time to keep fit, be prepared for when the competition starts. The Southern Grampians has a great history of producing many elite sports stars and I'm sure some of these recognised today will go and be champions of their sport. Let's give a big shout out to all those working behind the scenes, to the, uh, to the volunteers and uh, all those helping, because without, without their assistance, most of this stuff wouldn't happen. And finally, I'd like to congratulate all those nominated for the awards and wish you the best of luck. Congratulations to Helen Haddon from the Hamilton Croquet Club, winner of the Southern Grampian Shire Volunteer of the Year Award. Helen joined the Hamilton Croquet Club in 1998 and achieved success at local, regional and Victorian state level. She became president of the Hamilton Club for three years and later the South West Association while continuing to serve on the committee of the Hamilton Club. She introduced Aussie Croquet to the secondary schools in Hamilton for PE classes and for a number of years ran Aussie Croquet at the South West Games. She introduced Aussie Croquet to the secondary schools in Hamilton for PE classes and for a number of years ran Aussie Croquet at the Southwest Games. In 2007, she introduced the highly successful Ricochet Croquet at the Hamilton Club. She has organised Twilight Croquet and taken membership from 29 in 2015 to 50 members at present. In August 2019, she was awarded the prestigious Certificate of Recognition by Croquet Victoria for her work in furthering the game of croquet in Hamilton and the Southwest Croquet Association. Helen continues to be involved in sport through Hamilton Sports Women's Association and the Hamilton Croquet Club. To thank the Southwest Sports for putting on these awards in the present restrictions. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the two groups I am involved in at the moment, the Hamilton Sports Women's Association and the Hamilton Croquet Club. I've been a part of a number of sporting groups over the years and have always enjoyed the participation and coaching part of sport, encouraging girls and women to play and enjoy sport for as long as they can. Thank you to the Southern Grampian Shire for sponsoring the award. We are very lucky to have a large range of top class sporting venues in Hamilton. Thank you. The next you. set of categories are the group awards. The Southern Stay All Abilities Team of the Year is a brand new category celebrating the success the South West has shared in sport for people with disability. I would like to welcome Mr. Paul Lockheed, the Chief Executive Officer of category sponsor Southern Stay to speak about the All Abilities Team of the Year Award. 
Hi, I'm Paul Lockheed, CEO of Southern Stay Disability Services. As a key provider of residential services across the Southwest, Southern Stay is pleased to partner with Southwest Sport and highlight participants of all abilities. For those not aware, Southern Stay Disability Services is a not-for-profit disability service organisation that provides a range of services to people with a disability in the southwest of Victoria. The agency was established to enrich the lives of people with a disability by promoting real choice, meaningful inclusion and individual achievements. We achieve our vision by providing a range of accommodation, programs and services based on people's individual needs and working with our community to enhance opportunities for the people we support. Our team of 260 staff support over 600 people with a disability across the region, many of whom will be represented in the teams nominated here tonight. Thanks again for the opportunity to sponsor this event. We would like to congratulate the nominees, the finalists and the winner of the All Abilities Team of the Year category. The Hamilton Boomers had an extremely successful 2019 season, winning their first feeder Western Country Conference Premiership. They defeated the Ballarat Bulldogs, who had won the past three premierships. At the feeder Western Country League Awards, Jonathan Trotter, John Greengrass, Tom Brody were all named in the 2019 feeder Western Country Conference Team of the Year. Tom Brody was also named leading goal kicker for the league at the 2019 League Awards. The next award is sponsored by a long-time supporter of the Sports Star Awards. The West Vic Staffing Solutions School Team of the Year celebrates the talents and achievements of school sports teams. I would like to welcome Mr. Dean Luciani, the Chief Executive Officer of category sponsor West Vic Staffing Solutions, to say a few words. I'm Dean Luciani, CEO, West Vic Staffing Solutions. We are absolutely delighted to continue our partnership with South West Sport, and in particular this year, sponsoring the School Team of the Year Award. We know better than anybody how important teamwork can be in the workplace and the skills that you guys are learning now at school and in a team environment will serve you well in the years to come. So to all the finalists and to the winner, congratulations. Thanks Dean. Our first finalist is the Junior Sevens hockey team from Hamilton and Alexander College. The Hamilton and Alexander College Junior Sevens hockey team won their way through the Division Primary Hockey Tournament and then the Greater Western Victoria Hockey Tournament to go on and compete at Victorian State Primary School Hockey Sevens. The team made it all the way to the Grand Final where they won 6-0 and were crowned Vic Champs. Our next finalist I'd like to introduce is Monovay College Senior Hockey Team. The Monovay College Senior Hockey Team competed at the State Schools Victoria Hockey Championships. The team made it all the way to the Grand Final where they won and were crowned Victorian Champions. And finally, the Terrain College Swimming Team. Terrain College Swimming Team competed at the School Sports Victoria State Swimming Championships. The team had some great success at the event, both individually and team relay placings. Terrain College finished 34th out of 123 schools in the state. At the Greater Western Region Swimming Championships, the team had a few members and relay teams that placed first in many events. Terrain College placed ninth out of 40 schools. It was a tough decision for our judges of this category and they just couldn't split it, so we would like to congratulate our joint winners of the West Vic Staffing Solutions School Team of the Year, the Hamilton and Alexander College Junior Sevens Team and the Monovay College Senior Hockey Team. Well done to all the school teams that made the final. Many thanks to West Vic Staffing Solution for sponsoring the Amazon Sports Star Awards. We would like to thank our coaches, David Marin, Stephen Nelson and Heath Templeton for the hard work they, the hard work and planning that went into our su successful 2019 Hockey 7 season. We would also like to thank our parents for their amazing guidance and support. Thank you to our talented hockey teammates. From a small rural Victorian school, we put together two state championship winning teams. We are very proud of our achievements and thank the Hamilton and Alexandra College for supporting our passion for hockey success. Hi, my name is Eleanor. And my name is Gemma. And on behalf of the Monovay College Senior Girls Hockey Team, we are thrilled to accept this award. We would like to thank Westwick Staffing Solutions for their sponsorship of this award. Thank you. The Lifetime Trophies Club Team of the Year celebrates the achievements of teams from within local sporting clubs. 
Mr. Brendan Primmer, owner of Lifetime Trophies, has asked me to pass on how thrilled they are to continue sponsoring these awards. Brendan has asked me to congratulate all the nominees, finalists and winners in this category. I would like to congratulate all the teams that were nominated in this category and now our finalists for Club Team of the Year. Georgia and Eva from EKB Fitness and Aerobics. Georgia and Eva were undefeated at competitions for the year of 2019, a huge achievement for the pair. They placed in first in pre-teen pair at the Action Challenge, also placing first at the cadet pair at the FESAF Super Series, the FESAF States and the FESAF Nationals. Madison and Brianna also from EKB Fitness and Aerobics. Madison and Brianna competed at the Action Challenge where they finished second in the team pair. They finished fifth at the FESAF Nationals. They also competed at the School Aerobic States and the School Aerobics National Championships, finishing first in the secondary pair at both events. And finally, from the Warrnambool Basketball Incorporation, the Under-12 Girls Championship squad team. The Warrnambool Under-12 Girls squad made up of Eve Covey, Poppy Myers, Olivia Lenahan, Shelby O'Sullivan, Satu Johnson, Lucy McLaren, Indigo Sewell, Rosie Bowman, and Indy O'Connor, and of course coached by Kate Sewell, had quite a successful season, finishing first at the 2019 Colac Junior Basketball Tournament and the 2019 Bendigo Junior Classic. The team competed at the 2019 Basketball Victoria Country Championships, winning the championship game and qualifying them for the Basketball Australia National Junior Classic. After competing against Australia's best, the under 12 Mermaids finished 12th at the Basketball Australia National Junior Classics in Melbourne. And now, the winner of the 2019 Lifetime Trophies Club Team of the Year is... Georgia and Eva. To receive this yeah. award, we would like to thank our coaches Emma Chapman, Sophie Bellman, Brenton Andrioli and Tiana Drake for coaching us last year and preparing us for nationals. We would also like to thank our families and fellow athletes for all their support and help which has made it possible for us to achieve our goals. A special thanks goes to Gail and Brenda for making our costumes. Lastly, we would also like to thank the category sponsor Lifetime Trophies for sponsoring this award. Club of the Year celebrates the achievements of community sports clubs. I would like to welcome Southwest Sports CEO Mike Neo to say a few words on behalf of Mr. Daniel Bolsh, owner of naming rights sponsor Amazon Printing. Hi, Michael Neo, CEO of Southwest Sport. On behalf of Southwest Sport, I'd like to thank Daniel Bolsh, the new owner of Amazon Printing, a naming rights sponsor. Daniel and the Amazon team asked me to pass on how thrilled they are to continue the naming rights sponsors of the awards through your partnership with Southwest Sport. Amazon Printing provides printing and signage services and uses the latest digital platform at amazononline.com.au. Daniel has asked me to congratulate all the nominees, finalists and the winner of this category. Our finalists for the Amazon Club of the Year award are Archers of Warnable. The Archers of Warrnambool is one of the great community sport comeback stories. Around 18 months ago, the club was on the precipice of recession, with only five members left, facing the decision of whether they should continue. Fortunately, they did, and today the club has over 65 members actively participating. The club prides itself on being one which is inclusive, accessible, and socially engaging with members aged from as young as nine to over 90 years. The club's dedicated volunteers have worked hard to resurrect its membership base through the introduction of a free come and try session every Saturday, improving communications through brand new social media and website platforms and the development of new and improved facilities to meet the growing demand generated within the community. The club is currently focused on increasing both female and youth participation through a number of initiatives, including the accreditation of female coaches and mentors. Warrnambool Basketball Incorporation. Warrnambool Basketball increased junior domestic members and fielded 21 junior representative squad teams. Warrnambool Basketball has many successful programs including Aussie Hoops, Under 10s, All Abilities Basketball, Wheelchair Basketball, Seahawks and Mermaids, Country Basketball League teams, School Holiday Camps. Warrnambool Basketball Incorporation also introduced three on three basketball, Saturday morning sessions and intensive morning sessions as well. Along with these morning sessions, Warrnambool Basketball held a very successful June Girls Clinic 
featuring Australian gems Jazz Shelley and Izzy Byrne. And the winner is Archers of Warrnambool. My name's Mike Clark and I'm the president of the Archers of Warrnambool. And on behalf of the Archers of Warrnambool, I'm both proud and pleasantly surprised to be able to accept the 2019 Amazon Sports Star Award. I see the award as not only recognition of the enthusiasm, effort and time put in by the committee and club captain, but also the members who have given the club a friendly and welcoming environment. I would like also to thank the sponsor Amazon Printing for this award and Southwest Sports for organising the event. I can say no club starts the year planning to win such an award, which makes it doubly exciting when it happens. Congratulations to all our group award winners. Our final set of awards are for individuals who have demonstrated success within their chosen sport. The Southwest Credit Union Coach Official of the Year celebrates the contribution to sport and the achievement attained by our talented coaches and officials. I would like to welcome forward Mr. David Brown, the Chief Executive Officer of Category Sponsor Southwest Credit Union, a longtime supporter of the event and Southwest Sport. Hi, I'm David Brown, CEO of Southwest Credit, your local bank. As a provider of community financial service for the Southwest, it is a perfect fit to partner with Southwest Sport to highlight the contribution of individuals who provide support to the sector as coaches or administrators. Congratulations to the nominees, finalists and winner of this category. I'd now like to introduce our finalists for the Southwest Credit Union Coach Official of the Year. Chloe Anderson. Chloe Anderson, official with the Glenelg Hockey Association. In June 2019, Chloe umpired during the Under-18 South Australian State Hockey Championships, including the Grand Final. She also umpired in the Premier Hockey League Adelaide, as well as the Tatiara Hockey Grand Finals. Jeremy Dixon, coach, Athletic Southwest. In October of 2019, Jeremy coached track and field athlete Caitlin Sharp at the INAS Global Games, which is an international event. Caitlin finished with second in the high jump, third in the 4x100 relay, fourth in triple jump and long jump, both which were Australian records, and eighth in the 200 metres. Along with the INAS Global Games, Jeremy also coached Caitlin at the Arafura Games, where Caitlin finished for the second in the 200 metres and fourth in the long jump, both Australian under 18 records. After the All Schools National event, Jeremy again coached Caitlin at the event, and Caitlin finished first in the 100 metres, an Australian and Oceania record, and first in the long jump, also an Australian record. With the help of Jeremy, Caitlin improved by 50 centimetres in the long jump and 0.4 seconds in the 100 metres over the course of the year. At the Little Athletics and SSV Track and Field Championships, a number of Jeremy's squad athletes made states with a number of them placing. He was selected as the Athletics Victoria Target Talent Program Assistant Sprints Coach. And finally, Shelley McRae, coach, Dennington Pony Club. Shelley was awarded the Pony Club Victoria Coach of the Year. She was awarded the win for her significant contribution to coaching at the highest professional standard. Shelley coaches riders individually at local pony clubs and is the Dennington Pony Club in the Wannan Zone Chief Instructor. Shelley travels the state of Victoria and New South Wales, training coaches, mentoring up and coming coaches and also assessing coaches for their coaching levels to gain their accreditation. Shelley is passionate about bringing the next generation of coaches up through the Pony Club ranks, not only on a local level, but across the state and on a national basis as well. She's one of Pony Club Victoria's state level presenters at workshops and clinics. And this role sees Shelley travel around the state presenting all workshops to not only up and coming coaches, but to riders as well. And the winner is Jeremy Dixon. Hi all, first just want to recognise all the coaches down here in the South West and the great work that you do, best in your time and effort to support all of our local athletes and their clubs. Um, congratulations to the other nominees for this category as well and a big thank you to South West Sport and South West Credit who sponsored this particular award. And South West Credit, uh, thank you also for helping the Athletic South West Turbines get off the ground last year. 
So in terms of the awards, uh, some of the athletes I coached had a fantastic year last year, a number of finals and uh, medals at state championships across little athletics, primary and secondary schools. A couple of highlights including Jesse Suter in the sprints and long jump, uh, as well as Ruby Darcy and Hilary Hannigan in the triple jump in the same event. Uh, they train together and come home with first and second, so a fantastic outcome. And of course, Caitlin Sharp, who competes in the para, um, and uh, she had a fantastic international season at uh, the Arafura Games as well as the Global Games where we had some significant advancements in her personal bests and performances and came home with uh, medals and Australian records. So um, really good year. So look, just a big thank you again for the award and hope everyone has a good night. The next two awards are a celebration of the talent exhibited by our junior athletes. The Southwest Sports Junior Female Award was a highly contested category with an incredibly high standard throughout all nominations. I would like to welcome back Mr. Michael Neo, the Chief Executive Officer of Host Organisation Southwest Sport. It is fantastic to see the number and quality of nominations in the Junior Female category. Well done to all those who were nominated and congratulations to the finalists. There were so many amazing nominations for the Southwest Sport Junior Female category However, the judges were able to pick our top three finalists, and those finalists are Indra Purcell from MacArthur Primary School. Indra was selected to represent the Australian Under-13 Indigenous Budgies team to compete in the Australia International Netball Tournament. Indra played in goal defence and centre positions. The team placed third out of eight teams, a great achievement. Indra was also selected and represented the Victorian Seven Sisters Under-13 team. This team was selected from the Indigenous girls in the age group from the whole of Victoria. Matilda Allen for Fizzy Pole Warnable. Matilda won a bronze at the Australia Circus Festival, performing under the Hudson Circus Tent in Brisbane, Queensland in November. Matilda performed on the hoop, being winched metres up above the ground. She competed against 24 others in her category and against countries including America, New Zealand, Japan, the UK and other Australian states. It was an amazing effort to gain a bronze against such amazing artists from all over the world. Matilda was invited to be a junior judge for the professional divisions being performed during the week-long festival. Matilda was the national winner of the Little Lyra Australia Aerial Hoop category. This competition involved a heat for each state alongside the adult competition and then the top three from each state competed for the national title. Ruby Lawrence, Good Shepherd College. Competing in the Open Division at the Sky Park Australian Carriage Driving Classic in Melbourne, Ruby, at the age of 13, placed first out of the 10 in the marathon classification. She was also awarded champion of this event and placed first out of 10 in the Cones classification and placed second out of 10 in the Dressage classification. Ruby again competed in the Open Division, this time at the Victorian Carriage Driving Championships. Competing in the dressage classification, she placed first out of seven and was awarded state champion. Also in the Cones classification, Ruby placed first out of seven. Her achievements led her to win Equestrian Victorian Carriage Driver of the Year. And the winner of the Southwest Sport Junior Female of the Year is Matilda Allen. Wow, what an honour to be selected as one of the finalists in this category alongside so many other amazing athletes. Congratulations to all of the other finalists. Thank you to the main sponsor, Southwest Sport, for making this all possible. To my mum for sticking by me and supporting me in every way, thank you so much. To Jem, my coach and mentor, thank you for always being there for me. To my physical community, not only locally but worldwide, and to the overall Aerials and Pole community, thank you so, so much for supporting me and giving me all of your advice. And lastly, to my other friends and family that have just supported me no matter what, thank you guys so, so much. And thank you once again to Southwest Sport for this opportunity. Our first finalist for the junior male category is Jessie Suter from the Warrnambool Little Athletics. Jessie competed at the Little Ath State Ath Championships. He had some great results, winning gold in the under 14 boys 100 metre sprint and a bronze medal in the under 14 boys 200 metre sprint. At the SSV Secondary School State Ath Championships, he won silver in both the under 14 boys 100 metres and under 14 boys 200 metres. Jesse also competed in the long jump for the first time and finished with a bronze medal in the under 14 boys section. Matthew Molan from the Nurit Gun Club. 
Matthew competed in the New Zealand national titles, an international event, and successfully became the under-21 double rise champion and was junior high gun winner. Matt was also awarded overall junior champion at the New Zealand Championships. Competing at the Australian national titles, Matthew was the sub-junior national high gun winner. After Matt's outstanding results at the national championships held in Roma, Queensland, with a score of 549 out of 550, and finishing in the top five in Australia. Matt was selected to represent Australia in the Australia McIntosh team in New Zealand 2020. Matthew was also made the National Junior Shooting Academy and trained at the Australian Institute of Sport. Ruben De Silva Smith, Warrnambool Tri Club. The 2XU Sandringham Triathlon was an Olympic distance triathlon. Ruben had a steady effort and excellent time. A huge achievement to come first in the junior male section and what is effectively Victoria's pinnacle flagship triathlon series. These events attract a significant interstate and international competitor list. In November 2019, the season field were unable to challenge Ruben on his home course and the King of Kalani retained his crown to take out the event convincingly. Having a 16-year-old win the open event is quite a coup. But Ruben has proven himself to be a consistent performer and continues to go from strength to strength. And the winner is Matthew Mullen from the Nurit Gun Club. Hi, I'm Matt Mullen. I'm pleased to be honored for the Amazon Sports Star Award. I'd like to thank Southwest Sport for the category sponsor, Gary Hayden for coaching me, Narelle Kaffersen for nominating me, and everyone else that's helped me along the way. Thank you. The Wadia Individual Athlete with a Disability Award recognises a Southwest athlete who has achieved outstanding results as an individual or within a team. The category nominations included a high calibre of athletes and was hotly contested once again. I'd like to introduce Mr Tom Scarborough, the CEO of category sponsor Wadia, to speak. Hi, I'm Tom Scarborough, CEO of Wadia Works. Wadia Works is proud to partner with Southwest Sport for the 2019 Individual Athlete with a Disability Award. This award recognises a Southwest athlete with a disability who has achieved outstanding results as an individual or in a team in respect of their performance in their chosen sport during the 2019 year. Wadia Works has been proud sponsors of these awards for the past seven years and proud to be part of the Southwest for the past 30 years. During this time, Wadia Works has been reaching out a helping hand to its local communities, improving the lives of people through employment and connection. Wadia Works is a multifaceted, not-for-profit organisation offering disability employment services, job active programs, training, social enterprises and NDIS activities. Congratulations to the nominees, finalists and the winner. Aaron Skinner from the Nestles Rowing Club. Aaron performed impressively at the INAS Global Games, winning silver in the men's single skull 500 metre, silver in the mixed double skull 1000 metre, silver in the men's double skull 1000 metre, silver in the men's double skull 500 metre, silver in the mixed four 500 metre, bronze in the mixed four 1000 metre. The INAS Games are held every four years and are the world's largest sporting event for elite athletes with an intellectual impairment. Aaron represented Australia as part of the rowing team, the only Victorian in the rowing squad of 10 competitors. At the Concept 2 Indoor Australian Rowing Championships, Aaron was very successful, breaking two world records at the Australian Indoor Rowing Championships. Aaron rowed 1,082 metres in four minutes on the Concept 2 Ergometer to write his name into the history books in the 19 to 29 PR3 ID and PR3 overall classes. He also claimed gold in the four minute ERG 2000 and 500 metre races at the Indoor Championships. Aaron competed at the Sydney International Rowing Regatta in the PR3 men's single, finishing with a bronze medal in this event. Aaron also competed in the mixed double and mixed Cox 4, coming fourth in both events. The SIRR is an international event, and on the last day of the regatta, rowers from each Australian state compete against each other to different categories. Caitlin Sharp from the Athletics Southwest. Caitlin competed at the INAS Global Games 
where she finished second in the high jump, fourth in triple jump, in which she broke the Australian record, fourth in the long jump, again, breaking the Australian record, and eighth in the 200 metres. Caitlin competed against the world record holder in the long jump, and her results saw her become the number one ranked under 20 female in the world in the triple jump, and retain that for the rest of 2019. Caitlin competed at the Arafura Games, which offered a chance for athletes to compete against athletes from all around Australia and countries around the world. She finished the international event with a gold in the women's high jump, a silver in the women's 200 metres, and fourth in the women's long jump. At the Athletics Australia All Schools Championship, Caitlin finished with a gold in the long jump and a bronze in the 100 metres. Jalen Brown from the Warrnambool Basketball Incorporation. Jalen represented Australia for the first time in the Kitakoyushu Cup in Fukuoka, Japan. He played for the Australian Spinners Under-23 Men's Wheelchair Basketball Team in the Four Nation Tournament. At just 14 years of age, he was the youngest member of the Spinners 12 Players Squad. He was part of the Victorian Wheelchair Basketball Team that competed at the Kevin Coombs Cup where the team finished fourth in the country. Another really tough category for the judges, and they just couldn't split it. So the joint winners of the 2019 Wadia Individual Athlete with a Disability Award are Aaron Skinner and Caitlin Sharp. Aaron is non-verbal, so as his mum, I will have to help him with this video. 2019 was a busy year for Aaron, competing in international, national and state events as well as attending four interstate rowing camps and relocating to Sydney for five weeks for extra training. Our thanks go to Barbara Randram from Balmain and Kathleen Hextel from Drummoyne Rowing Clubs for allowing Aaron to train with them. Michael Russell from the University of Queensland Rowing Club for arranging and running the camps and for his commitment in training Aaron and the other team members in preparation for the INAS Games. We would also like to thank Wadia for sponsoring this category and also for Aaron's sponsorship towards the INAS Games. Thank you, Wadia. 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 And the Southern Stay for their sponsorship. Thank you. Show us the Southern Stay. Southern Stay. And Diesel from CrossFit for Aaron's regular, intensive, and dedicated training. Thank you. Diesel. 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 Hi, I'm Caitlin Sharp. I'm a para athlete. I attend Turin College High School. I'm in Year 12. I also compete for the Athletic Southwest Turbines. I would like to thank my mum and my coach Jeremy Dixon for all their hard work at getting me to the competitions and everything you guys do for me. And I would also like to thank Wadia for the sponsor of this award. The Coast FM Masters Award is our next category. The finalists for this award continue to impress on the world stage in their chosen sport. I would like to introduce Mr Peter Heaton, the General Manager of Category Sponsor Ace Radio to speak. Hi, Peter Heaton, General Manager of Free YB and Coast FM. We're delighted to be associated with the Southwest Sports Star Awards, and in particular the Masters category. Congratulations to all the nominees and the winners tonight, and uh, good luck for the rest of your sporting careers. Our first finalist is Simon Johnson from the Warrnambool Table Tennis Association. Simon competed at the World Veterans Table Tennis Tour event in Townsville. The World Tour event conducted in Australia with players from around the world. He won gold in the over 40 singles, the over 40 to 59 doubles, and in the 40 to 59 teams. At the end of this event, Simon was ranked number one in the world on the official IWTF Veterans World Rankings. And at the end of the year, December, Simon was ranked number three in the world. He was elected to represent Australia for the first time in the Australia versus New Zealand test. Unfortunately, his team lost the test two to three. The New Zealand Open followed where Simon lost in the quarterfinals to the eventual winner. He and his partner won a bronze medal in the doubles. At the Australian Veterans Championships, which included Australia and New Zealand, Simon captained the over 40s men's team to a great bronze medal result in the teams. Simon's results in the teams saw him rank sixth in the top 10. 
For 2019, Simon was named Victorian Male Veterans Player of the Year. Sue Walter from the Hamilton Lawn Tennis Club. Competing at the Super Seniors World Championships in Croatia, Sue finished in the over 65 singles competition, making it to the quarterfinals, her best ever result. Also at the same event, she made it to the quarterfinals in the mixed doubles and in the teams event, finished fifth out of 15 teams. At the Oceana Senior Regional Championships Melbourne in the under 65s, she won the final of the women's doubles and mixed doubles event, as well as winning the semi-final in the singles event. And the winner is Simon Johnson from the Warrnambool Table Tennis Association. Hi everyone, it's a great achievement just to be nominated for an Amazon Sports Star Award, but it's a great honour to be awarded the winner of the uh, Masters category. Very pleased uh, to win such an award. 2019 was a big year for me. I got to travel overseas and represent Australia for the first time. So I'd just like to thank my family and the Warrnambool Table Tennis Association for all the support they've given me over the years. And a big thanks to Coast FM for the sponsors of this award. Thank you. Moving on to the Deakin University Open Male Award, celebrating the achievements of a senior male and his chosen sporting pursuit. Hi, my name is Alistair McCosh. I'm director of Deakin University's Warrnambool campus. Uh, Deakin is proud to be a sponsor of this year's Open Male Awards and recognise the sports awards as being the most significant in the region. Deakin has lots of students, staff and community who are part of the sporting scene in the southwest, and therefore it is fitting that we are part of these sports awards. Deakin congratulates all nominees, finalists, and the winner of the awards, and wish them well in 2020 in their sporting pursuits. Congratulations to our finalists. Jordan Rook, EKB Fitness and Aerobics. Jordan competed at the FESAF State Aerobic Championships, where he won the adult male individual category which then qualified Jordan for the FESAF Nationals competition. Competing at the FESAF Nationals Aerobic Championships in Brisbane, Jordan placed first in the adult male individual category. His excellent results qualified him for the Australian team heading to the World Champs in 2019, but unfortunately due to university commitments, he could not attend. Neil Crisp, City Memorial Bowls. Neil competed in the Victorian State Singles, won six knockout rounds of 25 shots up in Western District Bowls Division State Singles, qualifying for the West Coast Regional Final. He was the winner of two knockout rounds against the Far Western and Karangamite Divisions to qualify to play in the last 16 State Singles and ultimately was named winner of Division and Regional State Singles. He also competed in the Victorian Over 60 State Singles where he was declared the winner of the Division and Regional Over 60 State Singles. Neil won knockout rounds of 21 shots up in Western District Bowls Division over 60 state singles, qualifying for the West Coast Region Final. He's also the winner of two knockout rounds against the Far Western and Karangamite Divisions to qualify to play in the last 16 over 60 state singles. And the winner is Jordan Rook. Hey everyone, it's Jordan. Hope everyone is safe and well. Congratulations to all the other nominees in this section. Thank you to Deakin University for sponsoring this award. Much appreciated as always. A massive thank you to my aerobics coaches, Sophie Wellman, Emma Chapman and Brenton Andrioli. Thank you to my family for all the support. I love them all. Thank you to my EKB family for all your support and cheering. I couldn't have done it without you guys. It's always been an honour competing at EKB and if it wasn't for Emma back in primary school, I wouldn't be the person I am today, so thank you for that. And yeah, thank you for this amazing award and stay safe. The Deakin University Open Female Award is our next category. The finalists for this award continue to impress on the world stage in their chosen sport. I would like to introduce Mr. Alistair McCosh, Director of the Warrnambool Campus at Deakin University to speak. Hi, my name is Alistair McCosh and I'm the Director of Deakin University's Warrnambool Campus. Deakin is proud to be a sponsor of the Open Female category for this year's Sporting Awards. I'd like to congratulate all the finalists for the Open Female category. Alana Johnson, Warrnambool Kayak Club. Competing at the Australian Canoe Marathon Championships, the 22 point kilometre race, which is held in Perth. Alana finished first 
in the under 23 women's K1 race. She was selected for the Australian team to compete in the World Champs in China. The first two places qualified. Alana was one of two Australian under 23 female representatives in the K1 competition at the ICF Canoe Marathon World Championships. The event was held in Shaoxing, China and was a 22.1 kilometre event. She finished 12th in the under 23 women's K1 event. Jenny Dowie, Warrnambool Tri Club. Jenny Dowie won and became a two-time duathlon world champion, beating 14 other international competitors with a time of one hour, 14 minutes and 23 seconds. She dominated the field with a victory, finishing four minutes ahead of second place. She led from start to finish with the quickest time over all three legs. This is Jenny's second duathlon world championship with her first coming in 2014. The ITU World Championship Duathlon event is the pinnacle for sprint and Olympic distances to athletes from around the world and challenge the best duathletes in the world within their age group. The 2019 event was held in Pontevedra, Spain on the 27th of April. 15 athletes with her age group from around the world tackled the 5K run, 20K bike ride and 2.5K run. Jenny had to compete a number of national selection races to earn her place to compete at the event against the world-class field. Gillian Cole, Funakoshi Karate. At the National All Styles event, Jill won the Open Carter. This is open to all women 18 years and above with a black belt, so she was competing against women much younger. Jill was placed third after the qualifying round, where only the top four go through to the finals. Jill won by 0.01 to gain the title. This is the first time Jill had made the final. She also won the lightweight point sparring, six points to three. Jill then went on to compete in the Champion of Champions, where the winners of all four weight divisions compete against each other. Jill finished runner-up in this, which is a very big title to compete in, with many ladies aiming to be Champion of Champions every year. The AFK State Championships, which is the highest level that someone can compete at, and is where the Olympic team is selected from, it is for the elite athletes. Competing at the championships, Jill won the Veteran Open Black Belt Carter, with carters that she had had to learn over the last three years and has taken this time to be able to become a force and compete at this level. And the winner of the Deakin University Open Female Award is Jenny Dowie. This is such a surprise as I'm not aware who nominated me, but I'd like to thank them very much. And I'd also like to thank Deakin University for sponsoring the award, as well as Southwest Sport for hosting this event. I was very honoured to represent my country on two occasions last year, and to come away with a second World Duathlon Championship was pretty special. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has supported me over the years. A special thank you to my family, and in particular to my husband Gary and daughter Leanna, who have assisted me at events and supported me with my training. They certainly share the accolades of this award. I would also like to acknowledge Brian Polkinghorne, who has been my masseur throughout most of my career, and I'm truly grateful to him. I'd also like to thank the Warrnambool Triathlon Club, which has had a tremendous season this year, the Warrnambool Veteran Cycling Club, as well as all of my swimming, running and cycling buddies. I enjoy keeping fit, but mostly I like mixing with like-minded people and I enjoy the camaraderie you get from participating in sport. I might add that the older you get, the harder it gets, but I hope that I can continue to enjoy competing for many more years to come. Thank you again to everyone who has helped me throughout my sporting career, and in particular, thank you for your friendship. Finally, congratulations to all the other nominees. I think you're all equally deserving and should be very proud of yourselves. Thank you. The Standard Chairperson's Award, also known as the Keith Wilson Award, celebrates an athlete who originated from the Southwest and has gone on to achieve on the big stage within their chosen sport. I would now like to welcome Mr. Greg Best, Editor of Category Sponsor, The Standard. I'm Greg Best, Editor of The Standard. The Standard is proud to partner with Southwest Sport to sponsor the prestigious Chairperson's Award presented in honour of the late Keith Wilson, a great contributor to sport across the region and founding Chairperson of Southwest Sport. We too are passionate about sport and the community. That's why we love being the sponsor of the Chairperson's Award because the recipient is always committed and passionate about their sport and proud to be a local who never forgets where their journey started. So congratulations to this year's recipient, 
Nathan Sobey. I was able to catch up with Nathan earlier today. Right, joining me now is uh, one of Warrnambool's finest sporting exports. He's this year's Keith Wilson's chairperson's uh, medalist, so to speak. It's Nathan Sobey. So thanks so much for uh, joining us. No worries. Thanks for having me. Now, normally uh, we'd love to see the recipient here with us, but obviously different times. Can we start there? How's the last three months been in Nathan Sobey's world? I, I saw that you were back in Warrnambool for a period with your uh, new addition to the family, young Harley, but um, how's it been, mate? How are you coping? Yeah, obviously when it first happened, uh, me and the family came home and uh, we were home for about seven or eight weeks uh, with uh, mum and dad and the brothers, and I think it was good in a sense that it got us all together and under the same roof for a, a long period of time and it was great to hang out with all of them especially while Harley's at such a young age and they got to hang out with her for a, for a long time and then we came back up to Brisbane and looked like we were starting to get back into workouts and whatnot and um, then we were off the court there for another couple of months or whatever it was and um, we've just started back up this week. This is our first actual week back on court, so it's uh, great to be back um, doing the workouts and stuff again. Now, the Sports Star Awards recognise talent across an array of sports. Uh, every year we come together, it's, it's amazing to see just how far ranging it is. But it's also fantastic to see and welcome back people like yourself. Uh, and each and every year we, we're reminded just of the depth of talent from this area. Um, do you think there's something unique about this part of the world down here? Because we seem to produce a lot of top athletes. Yeah, something in the water for sure. Obviously, Brownie just getting inducted into the Hall of Fame the other day. Um, just to, they're, they're, like you said, there is a, a lot of talent that comes out of Warrnambool. And um, I think it's just the community that we, we sort of come from and, and what we see growing up as kids and, and really get involved in sport down there and, and get really behind it and um, stick with it. So it's. It's great to see that sort of thing come to fruition for, for some people. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, you'd know that Nathan Sobey is a top basketballer, has represented our country. We'll talk about the, uh, I guess, the non-Olympics a little bit later. Um, but let's go back to, your, to your, your, your roots, where you started, obviously here, uh, down in Warrnambool. Um, wowed us at a Seahawk level, but can we go back and, and, and talk about how you started getting involved in sport and what were the drivers for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously just mum and dad pushed me in a bunch of different sports when I was really, really young and uh, obviously was swimming, footy and basketball for me and they were my three sort of go-tos and played footy all the way up until I chose to go to basketball. But um, yeah, just loved doing anything to do with sport and fitness and stuff and um, just really, really enjoyed hanging out with my mates on the footy field and stuff like that and, and really um, just being around the boys more than anything. Now. I've learned through these awards over the years that we do have people in all sorts of sports reach world level. Was there any stage for you as a young person in this area playing your basketball or swimming or footy that um, you were handicapped to get anywhere or did you, did you always think that there was those pathways? Uh, it was kind of different for me. I went through a, a sort of different pathway that, than most would. I obviously went to a junior college that I was lucky enough with Tim Ganey that had the same coach over there and then that sort of opened up doors for me. But um, until I really was finishing up college, I didn't really know um, that I was going to make it to the NBL or anything like that. It was always just trying to figure out what I had to do to get to the next stage and get that opportunity and, uh, and see how I went. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a bit of a different different way about it, but um, I think it's it's a good way for me in the end, for sure. Now, uh, your career is still blossoming. I mean, you've got a long road ahead of you, but to this point right now, what's been what's been the biggest highlight for you, Sobe? For sporting? Yeah. Or for anything? I think I know the other anything. one. She was sitting in the back seat only moments ago. Well, let, <laughs> let, let, let's go there. How, how old are you, just for those who don't know? 29. 29. And, and just tell us, for those who perhaps are watching this tonight, um, who are yet to get into the, the wonderful uh, life of, of having a child, how much impact did Harley Golden have on your life? Because, um, you know, speaking personally, I know it, it has tremendous impact, gives you clarity, gives you a sense of what you're doing and why you're doing it. What were the changes or significance from becoming a father for you? Oh uh, yeah, I mean the first the first couple of months were were pretty different because obviously we had her and then I went to China straight away for the World Cup 
for a couple of months and then came back and then sort of tried to get into a little routine, but then realized that uh, routines don't actually work with the young one. But um, we, we sort of just played it by ear and, and just having, I guess, you're not really thinking about yourself at all anymore. There's someone else that's way more important and putting everything into her and um, making sure that she's happy and, and doing everything right. And um, it's just a different aspect of life, really. I mean, you go from me in particular is just having set schedules on what I'm doing, what I'm eating, when I'm going to do this and that. And then it just gets thrown out the door. And it's just whenever you can, really, that doesn't take up the time with Harley. So, um, yeah, it, it was a big change to, in the beginning, but I, I think it was great for me moving to Brisbane because we had two other teammates that had kids um, or three other teammates that had kids, uh, one a month after me and then a month after that and then a month after that. So we were we had a, like a little babies club around here and we're all able to just uh, toss our ideas off each other and talk about it and whatnot. Trade notes, so to speak. So back to that sporting highlight, you've you've uh, you've climbed the mountain pretty pretty quick, but is there is there a significant achievement that stands out so far? Uh, for me, it would just probably be, it was either the 2000, whatever, Commonwealth Games where we won the gold medal. Um, that would be up there. And then also just making the World Cup team and being able to go play alongside some of the greatest players uh, to play the bar like for Australia and um, nearly compete for a medal there. So that, that was a big one for me. Obviously, it didn't end up the way we wanted to, but just being able to go on that trip and, and sort of learn from those guys and be a part of it and whatnot, was that was pretty special. So just on that, um, can you remember a time as you were coming through, um, perhaps to share with the people tonight that um, there was a time where perhaps, I'm sure you got maybe one or two or several knockbacks, but was there a time where you were, I guess, stunted in the, in the path you were going and really had to dig deep? Yeah, I mean, even when I came back from college, I. Uh, Got the played, I think, with Ballarat for a, a, a few months before the next NBL season started and just had my agents calling around trying to figure out where I was going to go and whatnot. And I actually didn't have a job going in that year. I got told that I, I wasn't ready to play and um, not sure how I'd go as an NBL player for the future and stuff. And I saw that was sort of a turning point for me. It was like, uh, I, I, think I, I think I'm ready for it and um, I just need the opportunity and, and sort of just stuck with one, the Cairns opportunity that come up and then I've sort of just tried to take it with that. Now, w where we sit right now, NBL going forward and all those sort of things, obviously the season wound out not long ago in, I guess, controversial circumstances, but another ring uh, for another wonderful boy, Trevor Gleeson and the Wildcats. Can you give us a, a quick preview of the next season when and if that goes ahead? Yeah, well, uh, from what we're hearing at the moment, obviously it's been, it looks like it's going to be pushed back a little bit, at, at least until the, M, uh, the AFL and NRL Grand Finals are, are fully finished. Um, I think we need fans in our in our game, so we're not, we don't have the TV deals that everyone, all these other big um, sports have, so that's our big thing that we need to happen moving forward. So hopefully uh, we're all doing the right thing and then sooner rather than later we can sort of fill the stands, but it's looking like we might st start around November, December, and uh, hopefully we're, we're fully ready to go by then. Awesome. Well, mate, thank you so much for taking time out. I know you're very passionate about this area every time you're home. You're, you're a big supporter of the community itself and, and, and the businesses and everyone else. You, you really make yourself available, and you've done that again. A worthy recipient of the Keith Wilson Chairperson's Medal. You join a long list of great, uh, wonderful sporting exports. So. Once again, good luck for everything. Take care of young Harley. Say good day to CC and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Southwest Sports Supreme Sports Person of the Year Award is the inaugural award to celebrate the Southwest top individual achievements. Finalists for this category are derived from winners of each individual category. I'd now like to welcome Mr. Brendan Jones, President of Southwest Sport. Hey. Today, I am Brendan Jones, President of Southwest Sport. Southwest Sport is pleased to be continuing the Sports Star Awards, although virtually this year due to COVID-19, in partnership with our major sponsor, Amazon Printing, five Southwest municipalities and our sponsors. The Sports Star Awards are just one of our many activities to support volunteers, develop clubs and spread the sports sector. A new award this year is the Supreme Sports Person of the Year. The winner of the Supreme Sports Person of the Year Award has been selected from the pool of all the individual athlete category winners. 
Well done to all nominations for all categories this year. Congratulations to the winner of this award. I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Southwest Sports Supreme Sports Person of the Year for 2019 is Jenny Dowie. Thank you to Southwest Sport for presenting me with this award. I must admit, I'm very humbled to receive it. I'm truly honoured because I love my sport as it has played such an important role in my life. Over the years, I've made many treasured friendships with people of all ages and from all walks of life. I've also enjoyed the personal challenge of trying to improve and do the best I can. Although at this age, it's more about trying not to get injured or slow down too much. We're very lucky in this region to have so many successful sports people and clubs, and it's great to have this event to celebrate their achievements, as well as recognising all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes. Thank you to all the wonderful people who have helped me throughout my sporting career, and once again, thank you for your friendship. Thank I'd like you. to thank everyone who submitted a nomination to our much valued sponsors and to Southwest Sport for providing a platform for us to recognise the achievements of our sporting community.